Dr. Akhila, uh, consultant nephrologist at uh, Astra CMI Hospital. So today I'll be talking about dialysis, what exactly dialysis is, when do we have to do dialysis, how long should a patient be on dialysis, and what are the different types of dialysis. So the first thing, when exactly does a patient need dialysis? So once the native kidneys don't function appropriately, uh, once it comes to a stage where they're not able to sustain life anymore, then dialysis is indicated. So this can happen as an acute process, that is it can happen quickly over a period of days to weeks, or it can be a chronic process, as in the kidneys have not been functioning over a long period of time, and slowly the patient progresses and comes to a stage where he, his kidneys are not able to sustain life. So uh, the acute causes for dialysis usually include uh, infections, which, you know, which cause disturbances in the BP, like sepsis, or any blood loss, or any um, cardiac events. So all these things can cause what is called as acute kidney injury. So temporarily, what happens when a kidney has been functioning well all these days? So because of these insults, it stops functioning. So in these conditions, we have to temporarily provide support to the body in the form of dialysis. So in dialysis, what we actually do is we purify the blood. So we filter the blood out, uh, remove the unwanted salts, waste, toxins, and the excess water, and return whatever is good back to the body. So in these set of patients who are acutely developing uh, derangement in kidney function, so the dialysis is more often temporary. They will require a few sessions and we usually give time for their own kidneys to start functioning, which is usually about two to three weeks. So once their kidneys start functioning, we can usually get them out of dialysis. So this is a very common misconception which most people have that once you start dialysis, it's going to be a permanent uh, phenomenon. So in a good number of patients, we can actually get them out of dialysis. The second set of patients are those who have chronic kidney disease due to various causes. So in these patients, there is a gradual decline in renal function. So over a period of many months and years. So initially, we try to maintain them on medications. And once they reach what is called a stage five, they will require some form of renal replacement therapy for survival. So the most common is dialysis. Dialysis, again, has two, there are two ways of starting dialysis in these patients. One is hemodialysis, where we, uh, access the bloodstream either through a catheter in the neck or we can use other forms of access like fistulas. So through, the, through these access, the blood is removed from the circulation into a machine where we have an artificial kidney, nothing but a hemodialyzer. So there is exchange of solutes, waste and water across the semipermeable membrane, that is the hemodialyzer. And the blood is basically purified and returned back to the patient. So this has to be done on a regular basis once they reach stage five. So usually we do it twice or thrice weekly based upon the patient's uh, profile. Another form of maintenance uh, dialysis would be peritoneal dialysis. So here what we do is that we insert a catheter inside the patient's abdomen. We use, our, our abdomen has a structure called peritoneum, which actually, which can act as a semi-permeable membrane. So here what exactly happens is there is exchange of uh, solutes, waste and water between the blood and the capillaries, that is the blood vessels in our body, and the fluid which we insert inside the abdomen. So this is a good form of therapy, especially for children, as they, it can be done at home. The patient doesn't have to come to the hospital on and off. So children can, I mean, it's a very good modality for children in the form that they can pursue their activities, they can go to school, and they can lead a normal life. Also, it's a very good modality for elderly patients, those with cardiac disease, those who are having difficulties in securing an IV access for uh, hemodialysis. So we at Astra CMI have the latest technology in hemodialysis uh, to ensure adequate patient safety and monitoring. We also have uh, facilities for continuous renal replacement therapy, that is, that is CRRT, which can be used in critically ill patients in the ICU.